I'm Jackie Woods from the Workplace Gender Equality Agency and today we're releasing new research with KPMG and the Diversity Council looking at the factors that contribute to the gender pay gap. I believe in the community there are concerns around the pay gap, um, whether the figure is a real figure. I think the reason why individuals in the community may not um, fully accept that it's real and they try to explain it away through women's choices or life circumstances is the fact that it's so incongruous with our understanding of women's capability and it's unlawful so people find it hard to accept that it actually still happens but it does happen and we have the evidence. And what we've discovered is that although at a sort of headline level uh, the gender, gender pay gap is reducing, the factors that are contributing to the uh, gender pay gap have, have moved significantly and it seems that uh, the factor that is um, about gender discrimination has got bigger. What I mean by that is not overt sex discrimination but this, the sort of indirect elements of discrimination like unconscious bias. But there are, there are a lot of other factors that also contribute, um, for example, representation of women and men in different roles and industries, um, uh, over-representation of women working part-time, uh, as well as women's uh, caring responsibilities and time out of the workforce. Really the important thing about understanding the makeup of the gender pay gap is to take action to fix it.